I'm just gonna do my brows right now and then get going because I have to check my tire pressure and so it'll take me an hour-ish to get into the city. I'm using the 407 today because the traffic looks horrendous. All right, so my face is definitely poofy. I slept at like one yesterday and I haven't gotten much sleep, so don't mind like all this crazy poofiness. I am trying a new brow pencil and I'm actually really liking it. It is the It Brow Power. It is super, super cute and small. And the tip is like super round and small and really cute. So brushing the brows up. I feel like I always get questions on how I do my brows. And so I'm gonna do it for you again. So I just like do a little bit of like an outline at the very bottom and then kind of come up. I do have like a little bit of sparseness like right in the middle of my eyebrow. I think it's like kind of hard for you guys to see because of the lighting, but I'm gonna do like an IGTV video about like all the little steps and questions that I get from you guys because I think that's like the perfect spot for like the small like two, three minute videos. And this is in the shade Universal Taupe apparently. I never thought my eyebrows would be light enough to do a Universal Taupe color. It's pretty funny. If you hear a little like machine sound in the background, that is my coffee cooking. Cooking, brewing, oh my God, I'm so tired. Okay, that was all my eyebrows, and then I'm gonna brush them. Oops, I dropped the mirror slash compact. So, I still use the Anastasia brow gel. It's still, like, my favorite. I'm just gonna brush it up. Why is it so going me today? I feel so tired already. Just give me some sun. I was gonna show you what I made for breakfast, but I slept in too much. So, I'm gonna have to skip breakfast for now. I will show you another time. I bought this like nine grain bread from Cobb's Bakery and it's delicious and like actually really filling and I feel like it's like helping me digest better because it's just like blood fiber and it just goes through you and I wanted to show it to you because I was making like avocado toast with it but I did do a picture of it on Instagram so you can check it out there. Um, okay, I'm gonna get going so I'm not late. All right, guys, so I got into Toronto, had my real estate meeting. We always have real estate meetings Friday morning, so that's usually what I'm doing, if you're wondering. <laughs> um, I just got to my parents because they picked up a bunch of packages for me. I had a P.O. box um, like in Richmond Hill before I moved, and I still get some stuff sent there just because First of all, I feel like I'm getting my mail stolen. And also, if I haven't worked with a brand before, I do tell them to send it there just in case. Like, I don't want to give out my address to strangers, right? So I have a bunch of packages behind me. Pretty excited to open them up. There is a new purse, I think, in there. So I'm really excited to show you. I'll show you when I get back. I am rushing back to Guelph right now because I have to um, last minute send something in. So hopefully I'll get there before two and then I can film it and then send it in. So that's kind of like some last minute stuff that I have to deal with sometimes um, especially if I'm traveling from Guelph to Toronto that's one of the downfalls is like I can't get stuff done really quickly because it'll take over an hour to get anywhere I also picked up a couple of my lighter jackets that are sitting back there too so I'm excited to style that so right now it is snowing um, so I don't know when I'm actually gonna be able to wear those jackets that I just got all right guys I am in my office slash studio it's a mess I'm not gonna show you you can probably see a little bit in the background there I just came home rushed and got some content sent in on time. I am now eating some Brussels sprouts from yesterday. They're a little soggy looking, but they're pretty good. So I just put some balsamic vinegar and some chili flakes on it and heat it up a little bit so they're like kind of warm. I like my food like on the colder side, like especially when it's leftovers. I don't know about you guys, but I am, what am I doing now? I need to fix a caption that I got feedback on. And then I am going to open those packages I got for you. All right, so I'm going to start opening the packages. So these are all gifted. I didn't buy any of this stuff. But I thought I'd show you because it's been a while. And I feel like I didn't have like a super interesting day. So it'd be fun to vlog this. I The reason I don't normally do unboxing videos on Instagram stories or on stories in general is just because I feel like most people unbox the same things and I'm just like does everyone want to watch the same thing over and over again I don't know if you guys want to watch more unboxing videos let me know you can also see how incapable I am with scissors and stuff so I'm actually gonna see I had a little Q&A on Instagram but I never got a chance to answer so here here are the questions let's see I'll answer while I'm unboxing 
It's not not loading. And I also got myself some cider. It's like Friday at like 3.50, so I don't think it's too bad. I like this one, so I'm gonna answer this one. In an alternate universe, which celebrity would you marry? Like, does it have to be a celebrity? I guess like that would only make sense because otherwise it'd be super awkward. Like, who would I want to marry otherwise? I feel like marrying a celebrity would be really hard. I feel like I can't even name a couple other than like Jay-Z, Beyonce, and like Will Smith, and his wife, I forget her name, and who else? Like, I don't even know who has been married for that long. Like, I want a marriage that lasts, and I don't think that marrying a celebrity is the way to go. Guys, I'm so excited. This is the, it's the Marc Jacobs Lash Box. I am so so excited. I love Marc Jacobs Beauty. Oh, look how cute this is. I am obsessed. How do I open this? Oh, it's not like a regular mascara. Okay, so it opens like this. Eep. So I will have to demonstrate this soon. This looks so cute. Should I try it on now? Okay, I'm gonna put you up here. All right, this is the white primer from Marc Jacobs. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Hint oh. I was not expecting it to be this color. Okay, so you guys, it's like a weird beigey color. Ooh, it goes in like really softly. Can you see this? I feel like it's not going on my eyes. I think it's really hard to see because of the color. Like it doesn't look like anything's going on. Oh, there you go. There you go, this angle's better. Why didn't it go on this lash? Or is it just the angle that you can't see? I don't know. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Obviously, I'm gonna put the black one on. Okay, one second. All right, so I just read it again and it's called the Velvet Primer Epic Lash Primer. Okay, so now we're gonna use their Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara is what it's called. So this one's black like that. So now that I had the primer on, I feel like the mascara goes on really nicely. What do you think? The test for me will be if it smudges. But I have faith in Marc Jacobs because their eyeliner is one of the only ones that I can actually use without smudging. So let's continue the unboxing with lashes now. I feel like that was a really bright video and I look really pale. Okay, next up. Guys, I was like, I think I ate too many chips last night. I was up late and eating chips. <laughs> so much, the side of my tongue really hurts. This one is from Volition. It's their Snow Mushroom Water Serum. So it's supposed to get your skin more hydrated, clearer, better texture. Mushrooms were your skin's next superfood. Really cool. Snow mushrooms can hold nearly 500 times their weight in water. What? Okay, this is what it looks like. Ooh. Lots of fun beauty stuff, guys. I'm so excited to try this all out. There's two little things in it. What is this? Diamond foundation. Diamond foundation. It's always hard with foundation because I feel like the color, I never know the color. Should I swatch it? I don't know. Should I keep going? Oh, why don't I swatch it? We'll see. So, so sorry, back to the question about what celebrity would I marry? I don't know. Like I don't know too many celebrities and I would have to choose them based on looks. So I feel like I would say Chris Hemsworth, but he's married with to the beautiful, beautiful model actress lady. And we have pretty, pretty cute kids, so I don't know. It's hard to choose. I don't know who who I would do. Who I would do, who I would marry. Sorry, guys. Radial. I'm apparently the worst unboxer in the history of video people. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I feel like this is gonna be way too dark, but the texture, is really really nice. This is a bra. Which one is it? It's from La Vie en Rose. It's celebrating their new sports bra. Whoa, it's a whole pocket. Okay, let's see. A little towel. How cute. Oh wow, they sent like a bunch of styles. Okay, and then there's like a water bottle. And some bras. So cute. It lit like it legit has like a bra inside a sports bra. So that's pretty awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Are any of these my size? Oh no. 
So I'll either donate them or I think Travis's sister or mom might fit in these. So I'm gonna going to perhaps give those to them. All right, I love the little notes, you know, like people don't, not a lot of people handwrite notes anyway. So this is what the brand logo looks like. A reusable bag. Okay, so one of the items was this cute little hat. I know it's like spring, but I can wear hats in the spring. Look how soft this looks. So it is made of, it's made in Italy guys, so you know it's good. It's baby alpaca, fine merino wool, and a little bit of polyamide. I'm gonna take my hair down so that I can try this on. Okay, I'm just gonna turn around so I can look at myself in the mirror while I put this on. Should go like that? Maybe like that, okay. So look how cute, it's like a slouchy beanie. So I think you can wear it slouchy like this, or I think, I think online I saw them like double it up. So it's like a pretty cute little like, little hat. Like that. So this is really cute too. Ugh. All right, so this is what it looks like doubled up. I think I like it both ways. I might like it the first way better. I'm not 100% sure yet. Also, the mascara seems to be going on pretty well. It's very, very like subtle, but because I have no lashes, it does give it a little bit of definition, so. While I do this, why don't I find another question? Well, I think we'll just get through two questions today. That's fine. My skincare routine. I've been posting a lot about my skincare routine on Instagram, so check that out, and then I'll do like a newer one here, but I do have a morning and a nighttime routine video on YouTube, bunch of stuff on Instagram, so check that out right there. Career in real estate, it's kind of like less busy right now because I'm so busy with the blog stuff, but I got into it through my mom's, like I, my mom's a realtor, so she like told me that I should do it, especially if I'm doing like a freelance career as a blogger slash content creator, and then I did that, and then went to her brokerage, and then went to her Christmas party, uh, for the brokerage and then met a couple people that I work with now as like a team and so that's how like I got into it. I can go into it in more detail but I feel like right now I'm not doing too much real estate that like I don't want to talk about it if I'm not doing it a lot right now. Do, 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 do. How did Travis propose? I have a full proposal video so I'm gonna link that down there because I feel like my YouTube video like my YouTube videos didn't get a lot of views back then when I had published that video so you guys can watch it my fave lipstick I am loving the Burt's Bees like matte lipstick I think that's what it's called it's so good I absolutely love it and they also have like their lip cheek stain stick that is a really good lipstick because it's so moisturizing I just have like a bunch of food 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 favorite books um, one is a great everyday bag and tote for schoolwork. I would say this one, but I think this guy's a little bit too small. I think they have bigger ones though, so I will test out the leather and let you know if I think that it will be a good everyday bag. If you were told you're going to die tomorrow, what is the one thing you must do before that day comes? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I mean, I think I would just see everyone I love. like. What can you do if you're gonna die tomorrow other than spend time with the ones you love? That got really sad all of a sudden. Um, sorry, I just know a lot of sick people and that question is pretty sad. Would you ever get Botox or injectables? Hmm, I don't think so. Not because I don't like them. I feel like I would like wanna see how I look like with like a little bit of like a lip injection, but I'm also allergic to like everything. Like I really want tattoos. I want like a bunch of tattoos, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be allergic to the ink. So yeah, I wouldn't get those because I'm pretty sure it would be a health risk for me. Um, and also just because like I might regret it in the future. And I feel like there's just like not enough studies about Botox and the chemicals they use in injectables. Like sure, it might be okay now, but like what if you find out in a couple years or like in a couple decades that like you shouldn't have been using these unnatural things right into your body because it's going to cause all these issues, you know? But then again, I've seen a lot of people who have gotten it and they look beautiful. It enhance as I feel like as long as it enhances your beauty and like it makes you feel better, then like go ahead do it. Just for me, it's more of like a health concern. I, I that's why I don't want to do it. My answer, I think the bag's almost ready. 
it kind of turned this vlog kind of turned into a q and a look how cute okay so it's like a baby tote it's black leather they have a couple other colors but obviously i wanted to choose black because it's going to be like my everyday bag it has three sections as you can see as i pull it apart two zippers in the middle. I love a good bag with a lot of sections. Okay, so this is what the bag looks like on. I think it's a really cute size and shape. It's perfect for like, just like putting my phone, all my like daily essentials. My camera would fit in there. Just like so cute and the strap's like a perfect length. And then it looks super cute if you just like put it on your arm like that using the shorter strap, so. I will start to actually use it and then I'll let you know what I think. But my first impressions are really, really good. I'm really liking this bag and it's living up to the expectations that I thought. And also really digging this hat. Like how cute is this color? Oh, so happy with it all. All right, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed following me along today. Um, I hope that like it wasn't too boring. I know that a lot of my days consist of me like driving in the car or like at my computer working. So I thought that I'd bring you along and maybe like chat with you like throughout the day, kind of hear my thoughts. <laughs> um, and then the unboxing, of course, if you like the unboxing or all of the rest of it, let me know. If there's any parts you wanna see more of or less of, let me know. If you watch this vlog and you're like, maybe this girl should not be vlogging, then maybe I won't. I'll think about it. I'm kind of having fun, so we'll see. And if you like the video, leave me a like and subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and I will see you very soon.